Hello, it's my pleasure to, to be here again uh, at this time for announcing uh, the release of a series of videos, almost uh, 10 hours videos, dealing with finite volume techniques for unstructured grids. Uh, it, it's really a continuation of uh, our course, which is already available in the CMAC channel in the YouTube, dealing with finite volume method. On that course, uh, we were dedicated to understand the fundamentals and the basics of finite volume methods. And we use it, we use Cartesian coordinate system, of course, because it's easier for the developments and because we are not interested in arbitrary geometries. At this time, in, in those 10 hours videos, we are going to expand, to apply the knowledge from the previous course, the fundamentals of finite volume method to unstructured grids in order to be able to deal with more realistic shapes with that we encountered in engineering. Uh, of course, we are going to go through some, uh, some fundamentals again uh, in order to have the completeness of the 10 hours videos. But our main focus will be the application of the, the, the fundamentals to unstructured grids. This course will be given in English. And we are going to deal with two methods. The conventional finite volume method, we call conventional, is a self-centered method. It's the method which uses the element as the control volume. And the other one is the element-based finite volume method, which is a cell vertex method, uh, which uses the element to construct the control volumes. Parts of the elements will be constructing the control volume. These two methods uh, are discussed in this course because they are the two methods which are uh, available in the commercial softwares. And uh, our expectation is that these two courses can be helpful for students and engineers and people which are really dealing with, uh, with the solution of uh, real engineering problems. The, the course will be available in the CMAC YouTube channel uh, as the one before. Uh, and the link can, uh, can be found in this, in this post. Thank you very much for your attention.